All right, so the second most basic tool in the shop is the uh, bandsaw. So this bandsaw here is pretty big. Uh, I'm going to go over two things, uh, basic operation and changing of blades and like what blades to use for what materials and stuff. Um, so basically you're going to use the bandsaw for cutting like a thicker aluminum and steel and plastic and wood, basically whatever you uh, need to rough cut, um, you're going to be using this. A uh, couple features here, we've got a guide here which will give you straight cuts as long as you use a square. As you can see this kind of rotates freely, um, it locks in the front front and the back. Um, you're going to have to use one of these squares right over here on the wall uh, to make sure it's straight, otherwise your piece is going to be crooked. Um, second thing is the guide height. There are two uh, knobs over here. The top one releases um, the spring, somewhat spring-loaded um, guide here, uh, and then the bottom lever actually adjusts it. And basically what you're going to want to do is lower this as much as you can. Um, maybe leave like, I don't know, an eighth or a quarter inch above your part. Um, that'll help keep the blade straight and prevent you from cutting yourself too. Um, and then you want to make sure you lock it once you set the height. Uh, obviously, there's a light here, which you kind of need because there's not very much overhead light right here. Um, one kind of convenient thing is the chip blower, which will blow your like excess metal and plastic or whatever away. There's just a little switch right here. It says chip blower, you can't really mess it. You turn that on, and this thing just goes plus of air. Here's um, and then the other thing here is this power switch. And obviously, nice and simple, it's got a off right in the center, low, which is for like uh, harder metals like steel, stainless steel, and such, and high, which is for aluminum. And pretty simple, just turn on, and that's basically all there is to simple operation of the bandsaw. So now what we're going to do is uh, Go ahead and show you how to change blades. Um, there's three different blade types here up on the wall. There's a dull blade, which you're going to want to use for wood and fiberglass and any sort of abrasive material that's going to dull the blade. Um, there is a fine blade, which you're going to want to use at a higher speed for, or sorry, a lower speed for like steel and stainless steel and such. And then there's the coarse blade, which is on here right now. You're going to want to use that for like aluminum and softer metals um, at a higher speed. So, there's two big doors to open on this thing, the top one, which will expose the top wheel. And you're going to want to make sure to open that all the way so you don't bash your head in the corner of it like I just did. Um, and then the bottom one, right here. So, basically, to get access to the blade, what you're going to have to do is, there's a center piece right here that kind of um, makes this top piece flat. You just want to pull up on this. Just comes right out. Doesn't have a bolt or anything, so just set this aside. All right. So now that you got this thing off. Um, this big wheel under here is the tensioning knob or wheel or whatever you want to call it. Um, that's how we're going to loosen the blade to get it off. So you just want to go ahead and turn it. I guess if you're looking from underside, it'd be clockwise. Just want to go ahead and turn it until the blade is loose enough to remove. You know, be careful it doesn't come slamming down on your face and slice you open. That will end your day quickly. So, there you have it. The blade is now off and you are ready to install the other blade. It should, I'll show you how to fold up this blade here in just a second. So now that you got your new blade that you want to put on here, all unraveled, and again, you want to be careful unraveling it so it doesn't spring and hit you in the face because they're uh, a little bit sharp. So, what you want to do um, sometimes it helps to have another person, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Hold on, just in case you are by yourself. And again, if you're taller, it's probably a little easier. But you want to just get it up there on the guide. Or not really the guide, just on the wheel. Okay? You want to go down here. Also, kind of get it on the wheel. And if you have to loosen the wheel a little bit to get to fit, you can do that too. All right, and then you gotta make sure that it goes into this little guide here for it. All right, and what you can do is you can start tightening this up. You just kind of watch that the blade's not falling off anywhere. 
tightening it. And now what we're looking for is there's a little gauge. You can see the uh, red marking right there? That's what we're looking for. We're going to tighten the blade until it is on that red mark. And there we have it. So now, what we gotta do is, again, just make a visual inspection that everything is indeed on the uh, wheels and whatnot. And we will go ahead and close these up here real quick. We don't have to lock them, I just like to keep them closed so in case something happens, the blade doesn't go flying in your face. That but I'll go ahead and turn this on low just to make sure it's tracking. Well, actually, you know what? It's probably safer. Let me show you first. You can go ahead and just free spin it. No, maybe you can't free spin it on this one. No, I guess you can. Um, let's see here. Let's make sure everything's lined up first. That yeah, looks pretty good. Now we just turn it on low and everything should track just fine. I don't know, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but the blade kind of sunk down into the guide. Um, if it doesn't do that, you're going to have to take it, loosen it up again, get the blade, try and recenter the blade, and uh, do the whole process over again. Um, yeah, you'll get better at it the more you switch the blade. So, um, and then you want to go ahead and take your piece here, put this back in here. Go ahead and close these. basic operation and uh, blade changing of the pencil. And there you have it. The video probably didn't do a whole lot of good. It's like kind of like a motion of twisting it and like rotating the blade out from you and uh yeah that's that's about it i guess you probably could bug somebody else who knows how to do it um yeah and that's how you do it put it where the rest of the blades are make sure you put it in the right spot so somebody doesn't go uh uh using the wrong a nice blade to cut fiberglass and then you get killed um uh, and yeah you're good to go Except you're probably going to have to get someone taller than me to put it up there because I can't reach. So, um, if I don't. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Okay.